Joel slaughtered an entire medical team to save Ellie from becoming a human vaccine. Was this sacrifice medically justified or just purely fiction? The show's infection is inspired by the real life fungus Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, famously known as the zombie ant fungus. You see, in nature, this fungus hijacks ants' brains, forcing them to climb high before killing it and bursting through its skull to spread spores. While thankfully humans aren't currently affected by this particular fungus, could evolution bridge that gap? Humans do suffer from fungal infections like Candida and Aspergillus that can invade the bloodstream or lungs, especially in immunocompromised individuals. These fungi are notoriously tough to combat. In fact, treating systemic fungal infections is extremely difficult because fungal cells closely resemble human cells, with the addition of a tough cell wall, making effective treatments highly toxic to us. Ellie was immune due to a unique mutation in her brain, at least according to the fireflies. The idea was to harvest her brain tissue to create antibodies. Medically speaking, while antibodies against fungal infections exist, vaccines are incredibly rare. Why? Because fungal infections typically don't stimulate the kind of immune response that vaccines require. There is currently no successful human vaccine against fungi. So the Firefly's plan was ambitious, but scientifically, pretty dubious. You don't save humanity by abandoning the humanity of your patient.